Hello and welcome back to Battletech Road Tech. I'm of course game operator and narrator Soul. We got a couple things planned today that are going to be a little bit excessive, I think. But uh, I think we have the money to get it done. First off, we have one day left in this month, so of course we're going to be running a mission. We're going to be running the most high ticket item here. Uh, whatever's going to give out the best payout. And there's a reason behind this one. It's because, well, this would be nice to go to. But uh, we're not going to be able to. Because we have other plans. I'm thinking about hitting the road. And the reason why I'm thinking about hitting the road is I believe it's about time we start dealing with some super heavy missions. Now, unfortunately, if you want to get super heavies, they're all located in this area of the map. So we got to get uh, we got to get our butts down here. The bright side is, I actually found us a friendly planet, Four Skull, that gives us access to pirates and the Capellans, as well as planetary government, to continue to farm money and parts while waiting for those super heavy contracts to roll up. Downside is, it's going to take about two months travel time. So we need money. We can do it now, we can afford it now. But I think a little bit more before the end of the month would probably be good. And we're also going to clean up a little bit of our overhead as well. So, moving on. I think this one, Force Call for 2.94. Battle in the Badlands is probably going to be our ticket item. We'll grab at least one piece of salvage. Always got to grab one. Uh, let's go ahead and clear this entire lance out. And set ourselves up for a little bit of mission success, hopefully. Fingers crossed. We need, we need... Four skull. Let's get rid of well not get rid of. Let's maybe bring bring the Igor. There's our four to four. Bubbles Slippy Ren and Brin on the board. As far as the Igor goes. I think Snowy has the best. Yes, sir. So far. What that do we want to bring a demolisher? Probably a heavy carrier. That really doesn't move the points at all, does it? Demolisher as well. There we go. All right. Happy in the demolisher. We can get we get a random pilot in here. Let's get. Who do we want to start training? That's a good question. Who should start getting trained up on the thermal barrier? A lot of affinities. How about ex military mech warrior tech? Nothing really fancy here. Maybe we'll field the Linworm instead. That way, uh, the zombie girl can still keep on getting some experience. And mark up those affinities. Yeah, those are four. Let's see everybody planet side. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. All right, let's see what we got. One pip. Oh, okay. 
Command interface initiated. Areas here, we got extreme dust. Uh Hey, look at that, we got support. Sure, Davian forces reach evac zone. Oh, we gotta guard them. It's not support. We must guard. And I can't land there to guard. Wow. This map is dusty. Let's get everyone down here then. Right next to the path up the hill. Let's see what we're dealing with. All right, so we got two lances. Not unexpected. We got a Jaeger Mech 3. Ooh, a Strider. Centurion and a Bandersnatch. All right. Enemies, we have a Condor Marauder. Hydrocodon, energy based. There's a Corsair out here. Nice. Yeah, maybe some choice picks. Battlemaster, a Damarang, a Jess 3 for speed. What are you? A Ballista SPG, sniper artillery. Yeah, good to know. Yep. Mortars and everything. Well, you know, that's not a bad composition. They should be fine against that for a little while. Move in and engage over on this side. Okay. Full speed it is. And hey, we start with a little bit of uh, morale. Might as well use it. Or rep. Standing by. Throttle down. Let's hit him hard. How about a ping? Don't mind if I do. Got a three or four. Now, as long as the allies aren't foolish, it'll be just fine. Commander? Which means they're probably going to be dead in a couple turns. Their enhanced imaging on, vigilance up. Bubbles, I don't think we're going to need UAV for this one. Do not believe? Quick step in it. And happy. Get you moving up the hill to provide support up here if need be. All right, let's hit it. Hey, hey, we got initiative. I do so love this. Move Bryn in close range. What do we got here? Yes, you are LRM-15s. You are a long range boat. Which I could probably completely uh, destroy right now. You guys are turning 20. Let's move. Their inferno's up. All right, everybody. One down. Ready for orders. Slippy. Oh, we could eat up a lot of armor here real quick. Vigilance up. 75 tonner. We might crack him this turn. We'll find out. Firing. All gonna come down to clustering. Negative, but he is unsteady. Standing by. Acknowledged. Ymir. 
An 85 tonner battle master. Finish off this guy. Guns off the field one at a time. Done and done. Enemy eliminated. Two down. Ren. Yes, Commander. Resolves in a position where we might be able to. Ooh. I guess these are all mortars, aren't they? Yeah. We'll be fine. Take care of the problems in front of us first. Battle Master is open. Uh, allies are taking on marauders. Hey, there we go. They narked up the condor. Battlemaster going in for melee. That's a miss. That was a charge. Oh, nice try, bud. Don't fault you on that one. They've got a lock on me. I'll see which way the mortars and the sniper artillery go. Everybody's taking just a little bit of damage. How much armor do you have? Not much. And the accuracy is actually not that bad. Let's get our rockets out. Let's see if we can get this ballista off the board. Hey, ballista gone. All that's left is the mortar truck in the back. I was going to say, you better not miss and hit my friends. <laughs> we don't want that at all. And Corsair's taking a shot. Reporting minimal damage. You're on the back. Hydrocodon is moving up. We got mortars out on the allies. Eh, a little bit of a spread. Not bad. Let's do this. Let's. The accuracy from above is actually not bad. I want to get up on top so that way I can actually start going for the other guys too. We do have turrets. Just don't uh, don't tag our summoner. Crack the battle master. That's a knock. He's still in it. Come here. Standing by. What we got for accuracy on the other guys. Actually, not too bad. Corsair is kind of rough. Condor. You know, if we get rid of that Condor, that'll free everybody else up to push. Hmm, but the Corsair. We're not going to do anything with him. We're not going to be able to do anything with him. So, how about we do some multi-targeting? One on the battle master. Just suddenly realize the condor is actually not in range unless I move up. There we go.
Then we can get a couple tubes on. Yeah, we get four on the uh, the condor, so we can get rid of him. All right. Battle master gone. Perfect. Did not crack the armor on the condor. Waiting for orders. Now for you guys. I do get eyes on the Corsair. I'm not a good hit chance. Actually, it's not bad. Understood. Moving fast. See we heat him up. Roger that. Receiving you. Slippy actually has eyes on. Roger. Again, what's the condor looking like? He is almost cracked. Maybe we can finish him off. Roger. Condor gone. Life is good. Ally should be able to push up without worry now. As long as they push. And fire. You guys got a fire. Commander. Moving out. All right, Ren. Decent shot on the course there. That's who we got. Why is that showing a tank? That's weird. One hit. Starting to work on that heavy armor. Oh, Jaeger's going to be hot. Yep. Fifteen. Who's up? Eh, decent hits on the demolisher with the mortar carrier. Not bad. We don't want to scratch the paint. All right, happy. You do get eyes on the Corsair. Let's head, let's go ahead and push. On my way, double time. I'll use vigilance just for the initiative boost. He is open. Any crits? Oh, ammo explosion! There we go. Well, that was quick and dirty. And we got good hit chances on the Hydrocoon with the uh, Windworm. Let's get this Hydro on out of here. Large chemical lasers, here we go. Oh, that was actually a good cluster. And... Hostile drop zone moving up. Receiving you. Now, there was a suggestion about mining hostile drop zones when you see them. I think that's actually a really good suggestion. That's not the best hit chance, but he's also pretty hot. How are we sitting? We're actually almost pretty hot, too. Uh, a little bit. Ride the red line. There we go. Even cook this marauder. Not a bad cluster. I'm here. Ran, you actually do get a decent hit chance on this mortar carrier. That, One hit. For Bubbles. Roger. And since we can't multi-target the ground, Get our minds out right here. Ten four. That's a nice looking minefield. Copy 
Uh, mortars won't be able to hit the flyer. Now, the ER Smalls might be able to. And the good cluster, he doesn't have much armor left. There you go. Yes, pick on the Marauder. Standing by. On it. What do we got here? Good hit chance, you bet. He's knocked up. On both of these guys. Ah. Good question. Do we take the shop? There's not much left to him. Let's save... Do half shot and cool off a little bit. There we go. Where the carrier's gone. Come on, guys. Kill that marauder. Oh, he's open. And shut down. Happy, do you have a shot? You do. You have a clear shot? You do not. We'll just push up a little bit then. See if we can tag him. They got some reds. No headshot, though. Alright, guys, up to you. Fish him off. Oh, the it's the Jaeger. Press him out. No, he's still in. Oh, Centurion did it. Stack pole. Here we go. Yeah, you're ruining my minefield. All right. Now, well, reinforcements are down now. What do we got here on the board? That's an Orion. An Emperor. Ooh. Heliopolis and... Epithesis Prime? Epi Epimetheus Prime. Cool. Emperor 1A. That's probably pretty... Primitive? What can I do you for? You know what? They just landed. Let's reserve. Let them move. Roger that. Standing by. We're not gonna be able to hit them anyways. So we'll try to keep our evasion up. O for Master Tactician. There's going to be so much hesitancy next turn. Holy cow. Guarded and entrenched. line this shot up and if I miss I'm probably gonna hit the hell out of us I mean maybe Let's splash the damage around or just whiff completely between everybody wow okay let's not do that then it was a random shot Probably won't do that again. Let everybody else move. Come on, guys. What you got? The Emperor's turn 11. So much hesitancy in the next round. Well, he just up and buggered off out of here. <laughs> uh, reserve. 
Everybody reserve again. Let's turn 11. Here we go. And he didn't even want to move. But this does give us access to a back strike here. I can't tell what my... Mm. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Decent accuracy. And low armor. Let's see if we can cook him. Ah, we whiffed it. He's open, but we whiffed it. Yeah. All right, let's push on this emperor. On the move, full speed. We will run a little heat. The heat. Hey, Bubbles, what have you got for a hit chance here? Not good. How it's your 2000. Okay, you gotta go. Emperor's got a how it's your 2000 as well? No, just glitched out. Don't let me look at him. Alright, Heliopolis. Gotta go. Let's get her done. Affirmative. Come on, give me that ammo. Ah, no ammo. That hit something good. Order acknowledged. How about you, Slippy? You get the ammo on this guy? Oh, you can. Artemis, kill the Heliopolis. Attacking proposition. Good explosion, good kill. Mech destroyed. Standing. Ran, what do you got? You got nothing at the moment, but we do have a side shot on the Orion in the back. 54, Emperor is at... 99. He's not much of anything. An AC5. Also, 99% hit chance. And he's not even in, not even in AC5 anymore. Ah, oh, come on, Ren. EI failure. Waiting for orders. Back on it goes. All right. Get a shot of the Orion. All right. One good hit, and he's open. Acknowledged. All right, allies, push on up. No reds, unfortunate. Well, Strider's got a good idea. Narking up that uh, the fast mover. Doesn't have a whole lot of armor, but he had enough. Let's go, man. Come back in the minefield? Oh, he is too. Hmm. Put the Ymir in the shop, eh? That's alright. Emperor's got nothing on him. Let's go for the Orion. And he's got a leg open. Legs down. Another stack pole. Here we go. Ooh. Please tell me the friendly didn't get caught. Nice. Very nice. Confirmed. What do we do about this fast mover? He does have that Ultra 10 on him. That's an 80 tonner. <laughs> Impressive. I think we run a little bit of heat.
Down goes Frazier. Watch my heat. Alright, so now we have just just an emperor. Who is pretty much out of the game. Torso's out. Is he gonna punch? Nope. He's gonna ride this one out. Turn these off. We don't need those anymore. Moving to position. And we'll turn some of these off. Get some heat back. Try for headshot again. There we go. Pilot's out. Done and done. That wasn't too bad, I don't think. Hmm. All right, so we'll let the day pass. We'll run one more mission to make our money back up for the month. And then we'll hit the road. Balance the books. <laughs> 2.4 in the bank. Six days injury. Oh, I don't think we can, actually. I think everybody's going to be out of it. Emperor B. This one's primitive, right? Mm. Focus fire. Yeah. How about you? Clan battle mech. 80 ton clanner. Very quick. An ultra ten for or er, yeah, he's got an ultra ten for a head. Okay, <laughs> a clan targeting computer. Okay, just uh, advanced targeting computer. Yep, there's a ultra ten in his head. It was an XL clan engine with a four hundred core. That's gone. A lot of battle computers. Holy cow. There's a clustering battle computer. Goddamn wrong. How about you? Anything special in you? No? Yeah, kept, the, kept the engine. That's about it. We still don't have the parts or the, the option to grab it. Nope. Before we break it all apart, is there anything on the board I kind of really want? Not really. Disassemble everything. Hmm. How about now? What's on the board? Is the Ultra 10 clustering battle computer? Might be what we grab. Breaching, multi track, guardian, compact gyro. Torso mounted cockpits, two of them. Let's grab this and see what else we get for our other six picks. Ryan, heat sink 20. We'll go ahead and get rid of this one. Uh, double heat sink kit. Sell that for a good chunk of change. Get rid of our primitive cockpits. And we'll keep our sensor sniper. So we got probably very little in repairs, but yeah, with Ren being injured. And requiring two days for fatigue. We could sit here and do one more run or we could hit the road and i think maybe hitting the road might be a better idea we got the money we'll make the jump it'll take us 60 days to get there so we should be one day before the third month or the third financial report
Fifteen hundred or fifteen thousand in two days. Yep, let's go ahead and do it. Now, as far as everybody else goes, everybody's coming off the line here. Doesn't really matter. We just have to keep an eye out for who's coming up next. Get our quick ones out of here so that we don't cluster everything up. Warhawk, Atlas, Wolf, Mad Cat, Navigation. I don't think the store has anything new in it, but we'll double check anyways. Negative, how about the Davian store? Super heavy endos reinforced structure, and that's a negative. All right, let's get into selling some of these things. We do have an atlas. Uh, we're going to keep that C3, just in case. We'll sell you. We'll sell good old herbs. What else do we want to sell? So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and I will clean up the equipment here and I will make a quick cut. And once the equipment's all done, I'll come right on back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Didn't spend too much time we were, uh, getting rid of some weapon systems. These are most of the ones that we had no desire to get rid of. A lot of Inosphere tech, uh, mainly because we have an abundance of clan weaponry that would offset it. Uh, we didn't get rid of too much that we might use. Plus, of course, we are planning on doing some upgrading and maybe outfitting. So we didn't get rid of too many of our weapons that we're planning on using. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of a catch-22, but we did get like uh, six, seven million dollars out of it, so that's not too bad. In the meantime, let's swing on by our navigation. Commander on deck. Let's get ourselves moving right on back to where we needed to go. Where was it? Uh, I was looking for research. It was right... Right there, Mitchell, poor skull. All right, let's hit it. Get on the road, 57 days out. By your command. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Financials are dead. About $200,000 a, a month less for our gear. Not bad. Cleaned up about a thousand gear. Holy cow. All right, so what do we got? What has come off the repair line? Nothing at the moment. Of course, now's a good time to actually look at that Mad Cat Mark Two A as well, isn't it? And in order to get this up and running, we could potentially. We can spend a l I don't want to spend money on building a brand new mech at the moment. Just in case something goes wrong with the jumps. I don't know. <laughs> it will stay there and we will work on it when we get to our location. Now the Warhawk, however. That is something we might go ahead and fill back out again. Oh, good old Warhawk. Go ahead and have a look at you. This lost the sensor probes. So that's going to suck a little bit. A lot. Lost the C3 slave. Heat and energy. Uh, and a pharaoh. Ugh. All right, well, let's see what we got. I don't think we have another sensor probe. It's just sniper. That's what all we got. So unfortunately, there's no we uh, warfare suite on this one. We have a comp suite double plus, just a comp suite plus. All right. 
How about a advanced targeting computer? We do. We very much do. All right, so at least that's back up and running. As far as our battle computers go, what was it? Heat and energy. That's critical. Get out of here. I'm a little confused why this is overweight already. Oh, there's no pharaoh on here. That's why. Is this the heat damage taken? Yeah, let's get our feral fibers up. There we go. Now we just need a prototype, double heat sink, and a C3 slave. And then she's back to where she was before. Only this time. He neutral? What? No, she was neutral before. And a C3 slave. There we go. There's the Warhawk. Back up and running. 85 tonner headshotter. Go ahead and get this validated. Easy there. So by the Mac Bay again. Ma our, uh, our Timber Wolf is now back in the in the shop. So let's have us a look at it. Uh, LRM tens. We don't actually have any spare LRM tens. Not clans, anyways. Ultra five bin. You know what? Maybe we'll switch these back to fifteens. The Artemis is nice. But at the same time, too. I'm not shedding too much of a tear over it. Get our Ultra. Get our ammo back in here. And... Get that pulled. What is not registering? Might keep that there. Uh, weapons. LRM 15 Cs. We pull the swarm. Go back to LRM clans. They'll have us enough ammo for a full on set of 10. Well, we are running low on bins. You know, we could almost actually put this in regardless of and run tight on ammunition, at least for the missiles. Because we still have our ultras regardless. What would... Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do exactly that. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Probably should have sold some of my Artemis 4 as well. Was that it? No, that's not going to work at all.
Actually, that might have worked. Two tons of LRMs. That's eight alpha strikes. Not ten, but it's eight. Pretty close. But I like it when I hate it. Ten is the magic number. But ideally, it shouldn't all be based on the Timberwolf. We have run into missions before where we've ran out of, out of ammunition. But I think with the damage dealt by the Timberwolf and the twin LRM-15s, I think would probably balance it out. And hey, you know what? If you find yourself another LRM-10C, maybe we can drop it back down again. Get me gone. No, no. Quarantine. Shoot. Um, we got the money. Invest in the antivirals. And this is out and Trooper is out for four. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Good thing we're still on the road. I don't know if it would have been better for the targeted medicine. Maybe. Nah. And open for debate on that one. Mad Cat's done. That work order you submitted? All work is done. We still got 27 more days to get to Mitchell. This is a full mech bay. And what are we missing on the Anaya? Uh, we are missing... Gauzilla. I think we were missing... Our gyro defense. These guys shouldn't really be running. One extra hex when you run. So to increase accuracy if you walk, that's a little bit better. And maybe a styro, uh, ability gyro might be better for him then. What was it with you? I think it was your ammunition. I want to switch out these singles for double? Eh. Sniper Ghost, Com Sweet Double Plus, Air 12 Sheath Beacon. The upper recoil was kind of a meh, if I remember correctly. Increased accuracy is nice, but yeah, it's not really needed. We could do a dedicated AMS system. They're just having the flare up. Was that was it ten alpha strikes? Trip on one of these bins. That still leaves us with twelve alpha strikes. And if we're running all 12 on an Annihilator Gauzilla, that's pretty, I don't know, pretty rough. But I don't think I got a whole lot for AMS systems. We have a laser AMS. Land laser AMS still leaves us with two tons. What to do with those two tons? Warfare sweep, probe, maybe guardian ECM. 
Oh no, I don't have a slave unit on here. That's what I was missing. Yoink. Slave unit obtained. We don't actually have any more slots available, do we? Uh oh. Well, I guess. Congratulations on maximum usage of the Gauzilla. Although we are one ton shy. Hmm. Mark II ex advanced optics. I could get rid of the flare system. But that requires... Oh. Interferes with the AR-12. Okay. Well, then maybe we won't do that. Maybe. And just maybe. I might be scrolling trying to find something we can use on the mech here. He's got a delta of 26. Can we pull this right? Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Uh, delta of negative 26 for heat. No need for recoil mounts. No need for heat sinks. Uh, I would love an ECM unit, but we don't have the slots. Well, if I leave the flare one time, I can only I can only fit one item in here. The warfare suite takes up how many spots? Three tons and three slots. We have an angel ECM. I have a beagle, it takes up two. And you take up two as well. Well, that just wouldn't work at all. Well, I will... ponder a little more on it, I guess. How much was that? I'd rather be underweight. <laughs> right. Spent 120,000 sea bills just because? Yeah, nah, nah. Nah, we ain't doing that one. What else was it? Summoner. Wanted to have a look at you for stability. Omni Mac Gyro, you ain't moving nothing. Yep. That's what it is. Another C2. Then refit you. Maybe get your stability gyro pulled. You have a defense gyro. Stability. Grant's entrenched. Yes. I'm going to say sure. Be nice with a bigger core, but you don't got it. We could pull. I'll let you know when that's done. I guess we could pull some bins off of it. All we really need are two bins, two double bins. Then maybe look at having a larger engine. I've got the financial report. Financial report's done. Let's have a quick look at this, anyways, just to see exactly how big of a core we could actually put in the C two. So we were to pull that. And leave us with 10. You got a 265 in right now. What do we need for 300?
Not much, and that actually bring it up on pace with the other one. 361,000, or 362,000. Yeah, but it would work. And then if I really wanted to, I could just take a regular bin of Gauss. Take it right there. And it says it's under tonnage as well. Uh, boo. 0.25 under tonnage. I believe I actually have P1 patchwork. Yes, I do. But that wouldn't be enough to do anything worthwhile. Give her a comm suite. Better sensors, maybe. And that's what we're gonna what what we got right now. We get some better patchwork. We might be able to sneak one more ton of something in here. And and uh, drop some armor for it. But for now. Um I was dropping all the way down to That's for one ton. Yeah no. Nah. Oh wait. We get some T2 patchwork, that'd be a different story. And we might be able to slide something in here. And then drop the armor for the uh, additional ton. But for now, that's good. Alright, we got 26 days. Alright. Before we get to location, and we got 10 million in the bank. Get this Mad Cat Mark II up and running. Now, what could we do with this wonderful kitty? Just jam her with Ultra Fives? Make an upgraded wolf? Hmm. Oh, questions, questions. What we got for core? 350? Four and six. We could do energy. Oh, if we have one more large pulse. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. What are our allies? What do we got? We have three of those. How about our PPCs? Heat efficiency is probably going to be trash. You bet it is. That's good done. Absolutely nothing. Yep. And we would need so much in the way of cooling in order to get this to work. If I had a radical heat sink kit and bunch of protos a proto radical and a bunch of protos that'd be a different story maybe so how about
UAC 20s. That's uh, 28. Hit. XL engine. Brings us down to 18.125 tons remaining for room. What do we have for our 20s for ammunition? Twelve and twenty-four. You're really gonna need recoils for this one. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we'll just hold off on building the weapon systems for this one. We will get the XL clan engine in here, though. It's going to take 21 days just for that. We are pretty much, we're pretty much out of time for the day, so I think we'll just validate this. This will be ready by the time we land. I know it's not very efficient. I'll get it in the schedule. This will give us time to get the location, have a look around, have some money in the back pocket just in case. Eh. Upgraded lounge, sure, why not? Morale increased by five. We gotta love it. Come on, get us to the new place. 19 days. We can see what there are for pilots. Missions, have an idea what's going to happen for the next episode. And still have time to actually go ahead and pay the bills. Woo! Hold extra. Uh, Extra practice. Replace Reaper. Extra practice. No, he's got low spirits, but he'll be fine. All right, here we are. Get the Mitchell. Let's see what kind of shiny toys we got. Just watch. It would have changed hands by the time uh, we got here, just because we spent two months in transit. Job's done, Commander. That'd be exactly like, with my luck, that'd be exactly what would have happened. Nope. Still found our Federated Sons. Let's visit the store and see what we got. Beautiful day. Bolt on rockets, SRM 4, 6s, blood down probes, canaries, double bin SRMs. What's in the Davian store? Avatar, Blackjack, Firestarters, Griffins. Uh, Savior repair vehicle. I know my, some people have mentioned about this one. Armor repair. Ammo spammy. <laughs> it's a neat idea. But yeah, it does take up 60 tons. I don't know. Artist attachments. We got tactic support B. Better buy that. New equipment. And weapon mount accuracy. What are you looking at? Plus two accuracy. Yeah, we'll buy that. New equipment available. Not gonna say no. Double Command Center. What is here? Operation Starving Merchandise. Well, some missions. Not too bad. Recovery.
We got some pirates here. Hmm. When was the last time we scrapped with pirates? Been a while. Been a good long while. To the point where I think it's probably worth it to go ahead and have us a quick scrap. Let's make our presence known, shall we? Where are you, Bryn? We need to clean up our vehicles. <laughs> Next on the list. In the meantime. See what this pirate has. See everybody planet size. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Alright, let's see what we got here for the pirate. Who's who? Anything fancy? Command interface initiated. Yeah, something was fancy. Stream cold temperatures? I'll take it. Battlemaster. That's about the only downside is that he's going to be running fairly cold, fairly long duration. He's a little heavier. I wonder if he can clear this hill. Get a shot on us. Ass. Let's find out. What? Never mind, we get to go first. And he's right around here. Piece of cake. Ah. That's a nice energy build you got. It'd be a shame if somebody heated you up real bad. Alright. Oh, he's going for the kick. Nice try. All right, well, let's turn this off. By giving you kicks in your backside here. Uh, no rear strike, but we'll go for the side. Go for the legs. He tried to cool down. That's what I thought. Right here. Stay on this side. Start working that leg. Keep working it. There we go. Weird camera angle, but okay. Done and done. Easy money. Let's see what that pirate was running in his mech. Probably nothing much to it. Yeah, probably nothing. That's right. We'll have a look. Maybe. We're going to have us a look. We're going to have us a look. See, there we go. Now we're thinking. Quick almost mill in the back pocket. And I can't take the whole unit. Let's uh, disassemble you and have a look at you. Dang. The Battle Master is going to be the better grab. Yep. Mind you, I was just talking about having another large pulse laser. I was kind of hoping for a large pulse laser clan. But... Ah, let's grab the Battle Master part. See if we get the other one. Hey, we did! Get rid of our doubles and our basics, and there we go. Almost a full mech. I think we got spare parts. Build one. Because we need one more spot taken up in the bay. Don't even know if I'm going to keep the Marauder. <laughs> uh, 
Is what it is. One day for repairs, maybe. Wait, were we even hit? I don't think we were. Never mind, gonna be two days for fatigue for Bryn. That's probably going to be all the time we got. I'm gonna say 20,000. I mean, it's just a straight across. What am I doing? I am not focusing on what's going on here. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Don't get hit. Still talking about repair bills. There's no repair bills. So come on. Uh, one last thing. Hiring hall. What do we got? We have the announcer. Ooh. Mr. Duncan Fisher himself. Drunk. <laughs> Death Crusade. There's a commander in Death Crusade. Next military and commander. Ooh. Wow, Moccasin's got officer and commander. Or boss. Nothing. How about underboss? What do you got? Nothing. Moccasin have tech. No, but he does reduce the... Ooh. does reduce the costs uh, of our monthly upkeep by 5%. Ex-military, noble. He has clutch, though. We need to get rid of that. I think Moccasin's a better choice here. Ready for orders. New mech warriors available. Full bin. There we go. Barracks are right full. Maybe we'll come back for Death Crusade, but we'll see. In the meantime, if you liked the episode at all, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to support the channel at all, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment on down below. Every little bit does help. In the meantime, stay safe, and I will see you in the next episode.